the, the field that we decided to do it in, the choice we made, was music. Now, why music? Well, we love music, and it's always good to do something you love. More importantly, music's a part of everyone's life. Everyone. Music's been around forever. It will always be around. This is not a speculative market. And because it's a part of everyone's life, it's a very large target market all around the world. It knows no boundaries. But interestingly enough, in this whole new digital music revolution, there is no market leader. There are small companies like Creative and Sonic Blue, and then there's some large companies like Sony that haven't had a hit yet. They haven't found the recipe. No one has really found the recipe yet for digital music. And we think not only can we find the recipe, but we think the Apple brand is going to be fantastic because people trust the Apple brand to get their great digital electronics from. So let's look at portable music. Let's look at the landscape. The first thing, if you want to listen to music portably, you can go out and buy a CD, uh, CD player. Right? That's one way to go, about 15, 10 to 15 songs. Or you can buy a flash player. Go out and buy one of those. You can buy a MP3 CD player, or you can buy a hard disk-based jukebox player. And these are the four choices for portable music right now. So let's take a look at each one of those. A CD player costs about $75, holds 10 to 15 songs on a CD. That's about $5 a song. You can go buy a flash player, pay about double that, about $150, holds the same 10 to 15 songs, or about $10 a song. You can go buy an MP3 CD player, and an MP3 CD, uh, which you can burn on your computer, costs about $150, but holds 150 songs. So you get down to a dollar a song. Or you can go buy a hard drive jukebox player for about $300. It holds about 1,000 songs and costs about 30 cents a song. So we looked at this and studied all these, and that's where we want to be. That is where we want to be. And we are introducing a product today that takes us exactly there, and that product is called iPod. iMac, iBook, iPod. What is iPod? iPod is an MP3 music player, has CD quality music, and it plays all of the popular open formats of digital music, MP3, MP3 variable bitrate, uh, WAV, and AIFF. But the biggest thing about iPod is it holds a thousand songs. Now, this is a quantum leap because it's your, for most people, it's their entire music library. This is huge. How many times have you gone on the road with a CD player and said, oh, God, the CD, I didn't bring the CD I wanted to listen to? To have your whole music library with you at all times is a quantum leap in listening to music. The coolest thing about iPod is that whole, your entire music library fits in your pocket. Okay? You can take your whole music library with you right in your pocket. Never before possible. So that's iPod. There are three major breakthroughs in iPod. Let's take a look at each one of them. The first one is it's ultra portable. So if we're going to keep a thousand songs on iPod and it fits in your pocket, how, how do we do this? How do we possibly do this? Well, we start off with an ultra-thin hard drive. We've got a 1.8-inch diameter hard drive that's 0.2 inches thick, super thin. And that hard drive is 5 gigabytes in capacity, 5 gigabytes, which holds 1,000 songs at 160 kilobit rate, which is a very high-quality rate of MP3 compression. Very high quality. 1,000 songs on this 5 gigabyte drive. And we've built in 20 minute skip protection. That's not, tw that's not 20 seconds. 20 minute skip protection. So you can take iPod bicycling, mountain climbing, jogging, you name it. And you're not going to skip a beat. So we've got this 5 gigabyte drive that holds 1,000 songs. How do we get the 1,000 songs on to iPod? We don't want to wait. So we've built in FireWire. Now, Apple, as you know, invented FireWire. We should FireWire on every computer we make. It's built into iPod. It's the first and only music player with FireWire. Why? 
because it's fast. You can download an entire CD into iPod in five to 10 seconds, an entire CD. So let's take a look at how it compares with USB. Five to 10 seconds for FireWire to load a CD. On a USB player, you're talking five minutes. Let's talk about a 1,000 songs now. On iPod with FireWire, it is under 10 minutes. On a USB player, it is five hours. Can you imagine that? You get your USB player, you want to load a 1,000 songs, and you get to watch it for five hours while it loads the songs. Under 10 minutes with iPod. It's 30 times faster than any other MP3 player. So, huge win. Now, it doesn't matter how many songs you have with you if your battery's dead, right? So we have built in an extraordinary battery into iPod. 10 hours of battery life, and that is 10 hours of continuous music. We're using a rechargeable lithium polymer battery. This is a more advanced battery than we even use in our portable computers. It's the most advanced battery we've ever shipped. And you can recharge this 10-hour battery in one hour to 80% of its capacity on a fast charge. One hour. But maybe the coolest thing is that, you know, FireWire, the FireWire cable carries all the data from the Mac to iPod, but FireWire also has power on it. And so when you plug in to your Mac, it actually charges the iPod over that single FireWire cable. So you don't have another charging cable to worry about. It charges over FireWire every time you plug into your Mac. Now you might say, well, what happens if I'm on the road with my iPod and I didn't bring my Mac with me and my battery's running low? What do I do? Well, we got a really cool charger that ships as part of iPod too. And this charger has a FireWire port on it. So you take your FireWire cable and just plug it right into the charger and plug it into the outlet and charge iPod wherever you happen to be where there's an outlet. So 10 hours of continuous music playback with a remarkable new battery technology. Now you might be saying, well, this is cool. This is cool, but you know, I've got a big hard disk in my, my portable, let's say my iBook. I'm running iTunes, I'm really happy. I got FireWire on my iBook. I don't quite get 10 hours of battery life, but iBook's got better, better battery life than any other consumer portable. So what's, what's so special about iPod here? It's ultra portable. An iBook is really portable, but this is ultra portable. <laughs> and let me show you what I mean. iPod is the size of a deck of cards. A deck of cards. It is 2.4 inches wide. It is 4 inches tall. And it is barely over 3 quarters of an inch thick. This is tiny. It also only weighs six and a half ounces. That is lighter than most of the cell phones you have in your pockets right now. So this is what's so remarkable about iPod. It is ultra portable. We didn't stop there. iPod has got Apple design. We've got one of the best design teams in the world, and they have done a remarkable job. Uh, and let me show you. This is what iPod looks from the side. Again, about three quarters of an inch thick. I'm going to show you the back first because I'm in love with it. It's stainless steel. It's really, really durable. It's beautiful. And this is what the front of it looks like. Boom. That's iPod. I happen to have one right here in my pocket, matter of fact. <laughs> there it is, right there. So, this amazing little device holds a thousand songs, and it goes right in my pocket. This is our store, and the store is divided into four parts. The first quarter of the store has our home section with great home and education products, and our pro section with all our great pro products, and every product we make is in this first 25% of the store. You can see the whole product line. And as you see up on the ceiling, we've even labeled the sections. Home, music, kids, genius on this side, and pro, movie, photos, and et cetera on this side. So the first 25% shows you our entire product line. Now there's 36 computers on display in the store. Every single one of them is connected to the internet. 
So you can go up to any computer and start surfing, go to your personal website, or do whatever you want to do on the internet. And all of our portables are connected with airport wireless networking, so you can experience that for yourself. It's pretty great. So come on over here. Let me show you what we got going in the home section. <clears throat> Here's our newest iBook. We've got iBooks on display. Most of the products are running self-running demos, but you can just walk up to them and start using them for anything you like. And here we've got three iBooks on display, and we've got every single model of iMac we make as well. We've got our new PowerBook G4 Titaniums running here. Again, all running Mac OS X, all on airports, so you can just pick these up and see what it's really like to have wireless connection to the internet. And we've got every Power Mac we make here, along with all of our great displays, including the 22-inch cinema display. The center half of the store, literally half the store, is devoted to solutions. Because people don't just want to buy personal computers anymore. They want to know what they can do with them. And we're going to show people exactly that. And so we've got four sections. The solutions we've chosen to feature now are music, movies, photos, and kids. And so come on over here as an example. You can bring your kids into our store, and they can just sit a spell, play their favorite games, and we have the best selection of Mac education software uh, that I've ever seen. And you can buy the best educational titles for your kids. We decided carrying our own products wasn't enough. So not only do we have over 300 software titles here that we'll look at in a minute, but we have 24 of the best portable digital devices. We're carrying six digital camcorders, six digital cameras, six MP3 players, and six handheld organizers. So if we look right in back of you here, we've got three Canons and three Sonys. So you can come in here and not only can you buy these digital devices, but you can actually hook them right up to the Macs and, and take them for a spin. Wouldn't it be great if when you went to buy a computer, or after you bought a computer, if you had any questions, you could ask a genius. Well, that's what we've got. This is called the Genius Bar. As you can see, we've got some pictures of our heroes up here. And this bar here, I'm not a genius, but I'll stand behind here. There'll be somebody here who can do service right in the store and who can answer any questions you've got about your Mac or about any of the peripherals or software that work with it. And if that person doesn't know the answer, they got a hotline to call us in Cupertino at Apple headquarters where we have somebody who does. And so we're hoping this is going to be an entirely new thing. We're so excited about this. We can't wait to let customers in the store. So let's walk through the software aisle in the middle. One last thing I want to show you is all our great software. Look at this stuff. We have over 300 titles here from games to the most sophisticated pro applications. There's something for everybody here. I'll see you when the store opens. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And Apple has been, well, first of all, one's very fortunate if you get to work on just one of these in your career. Apple's been very fortunate. It's been able to introduce a few of these into the world. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. And it didn't, just, it didn't just change the way we all listen to music. It changed the entire music industry. Well, 